SpaceX and NASA have delayed the next launch of four astronauts to the International Space Station due to unfavorable weather conditions along the flight path. A SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule is set to carry a batch of astronauts to the International Space Station for the fourth time, including one demonstration mission, when it blasts off midweek from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida atop a Falcon 9 rocket. A SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule and Falcon 9 rocket were scheduled to launch the mission, called Crew 3, early Sunday morning, October 31, from Pad 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center here in Florida. But three days ago, NASA announced the 72-hour delay, citing poor weather conditions along the rocket's flight path. Now, NASA and SpaceX are targeting 1.10 a.m. EDT on Wednesday, November 3rd for their Crew-3 launch to the International Space Station. Weather conditions along the ascent corridor are expected to improve for a November 3rd launch attempt, and the 45th Weather Squadron forecast predicts an 80% chance of favorable weather conditions at the launch site, NASA wrote. For crew launches, SpaceX requires good weather all the way up the eastern seaboard and across the North Atlantic, in case something goes wrong and the crew capsule needs to make an emergency splashdown. Mixed emotions I'm sure but hey you get a few more days to soak in the sun, the wind on your face, showers, and normal food, ESA astronaut Thomas Beske wrote in a tweet reacting to the news. We're waiting for you up here, the skies are always clear in orbit. Crew-3 carries three NASA astronauts and one international space flyer. The mission is commanded by NASA's Raj Achari, with fellow NASA astronauts Tom Marshburn serving as pilot and Kayla Barron as a mission specialist. Also on board will be European Space Agency astronaut Matthias Maurer, who will become the 600th person in space. It will also mark the first space flight for Chari, Barron, and Maurer. You don't see many Rocky Commanders, Holly Ridings, Chief Flight Director for Flight Operations Directorate at NASA's Johnson Space Center said during a pre-launch news briefing. It's really just a testament to what an amazing person he is, he's incredibly, incredibly capable as they all are. But in particular, he's just done an outstanding job. During their six months aboard the ISS, the Crew-3 astronauts are slated to do multiple space walks for space station maintenance and also help perform scientific research in orbit involving fiber optics, growing plants without soil and how astronaut size change from exposure to space, among other experiments. Crew-3 will also mark the 129th launch of a Falcon 9 rocket so far this year, and the 93rd recovery of a first stage booster. SpaceX's drone ship Just Read the Instructions is positioned out in the Atlantic Ocean, awaiting its planned recovery attempt. Approximately nine minutes after liftoff, the two-stage rocket's first stage is expected to touch down on the deck of the massive ship. After liftoff in pre-dawn darkness, the Falcon 9 will return to attempt a landing on a drone ship in the Atlantic and the Dragon will hit speeds over 17,000 miles per hour. 27,360 kilometers per hour, on its way to intercept the ISS about 22 hours later. Docking is set to take place at 8 p.m. PT on Wednesday, 11 p.m. ET. The four astronauts and others already aboard will welcome two private crews to the space station in coming months as the new era of space tourism accelerates. A group of Japanese tourists will ride a Russian Soyuz capsule to orbit in late 2021, and Axiom Space will conduct its first private astronaut flight to the ISS in early 2022, also on a Crew Dragon. A Crew Dragon first carried humans in May 2020 when astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Benken rode it to the ISS, marking the return of human space flight to U.S. soil after a nine-year hiatus following the end of the Space Shuttle program in 2011. Dragon is one of two vehicles NASA approved for development for its commercial crew program. Boeing's Starliner is still in the uncrewed testing phase after failing to reach orbit in a December 2019 test flight.